come in and squeeze and right and squeeze. Whoa. In and squeeze, yeah. <laughs> right and squeeze. I can see my legs. Woo. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Hi everyone, today I have for you another episode of the series where I try different sports and activities. We are going to deep dive into bar. So what is it exactly? Bar class is a workout technique inspired by elements of ballet, yoga and pilates. It focuses on low impact, high intensity movements designed to strengthen your body. In addition to building strength, this full body workout also develops agility and flexibility. It is distinguished from other group fitness activities by its use of the ballet bar and its incorporation of movements borrowed from ballet. My guest will show me how to start training bar and what are the benefits of it. Let's meet Jennifer Nigel, based in California, professional dancer and bar teacher with over 35 years of classical ballet training and 15 years experience working in the fitness industry. Jennifer is the creator of the ballet bar Body by Jenny program where she incorporates unique stretch and strength training. Without further ado, let's get into the class. Jenny, hello again. Um, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, so uh, let's start with the first question. What is your story? How did you get into bar? Yes, so I have been a dancer my entire life. So I started uh, taking like creative movement and ballet and jazz classes at the age of three and a half. So my entire life has been really devoted to this art form. Um, when I got to be about 16 or 17 years old, I started teaching dance and I got my first actual fitness certification very shortly after that. So it kind of put me on a path of teaching fitness. I was working for a supplement company and I was also working for a very big um, corporation at that time, teaching fitness classes. And it wasn't until about 2010 when I actually learned about bar fitness. And because my background was so rooted in dance, I thought this is perfect. So I got my very first certification and it was very natural for me because I'm a dancer. Um, I started kind of creating and choreographing my own classes. And very shortly after that, started my own bar program and um, just it kind of took off from there. So I've been doing it for a very long time and um, all stems from my background in dance really and my love for that. So. Wow, since 2010, bar and then uh, earlier dancing. Mm -hmm. And then, but I've been working in the fitness industry. I'm 40 years old, so I've been working in the fitness industry for almost half of my life now, and, and as well as the dance industry. So it's just, it's something I've always done and something I've always been really, um, really interested and passionate about. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so tell me more about how you design your bar classes. Uh, is there anything specific that inspires you? Absolutely. So because my background does come from classical ballet training, that is really where I draw a lot of my inspiration from. So most of my classes are designed with that in mind, but also with keeping in mind that not everybody has a dance background. And so trying to make the movements, functional movements, um, as well as drawing a little bit of that classical terminology to put in there because my clients really enjoy that. Um, and then mixing them together, almost in like a perfect recipe um, to kind of put the bar fitness piece in there, holding true to that. And then the classical ballet training that in my opinion, really ties the whole thing in together. So when I'm choreographing a class, I'm always trying to think of movements that are simple and effective enough for anyone to do, but also teach you grace and posture and how to hold your body and really draw from those classical techniques. Uh, great. Um, the next question then, uh, what are the benefits of bar? There is a lot of benefits of bar and I'm just going to start with my personal favorites. And my personal favorites are it increases your stamina. Um, it feel, helps you build long, beautiful dance inspired lines with your body. Um, it helps your posture, your body control, your balance. Um, and there's really this mind body connection in my personal opinion, when you're doing bar fitness, it doesn't seem like it's a very challenging way to exercise your body or move your body. But when you're in it and you're doing it, there's definitely um, 
the brain and body connection that is required for that. And I personally feel that that kind of translates into uh, into everyday life, the way you hold your body, the way you carry yourself. Um, it's very heavily rooted in your core strength. So definitely very important. And I just think the benefits, they're, they're endless. They're so endless. And um, we do use a lighter uh, weights for bars. So um, it, it typically tends to create a leaner, longer line. Uh, so how can complete beginners start bar? Uh, do we need something specific uh, like the bar? Or uh, do we have to have a background in dancing or fitness? Um, how how yeah. complete beginner start starts? A complete beginner can literally just walk into a class and start taking. Now it definitely depends on the instructor. So you you might find a class that you just don't gel with the instructor. And so I would highly encourage somebody who is newer to bar to take a couple different classes at a couple different studios and find the instructor and the class style that works for you. Um, with bar fitness, you don't need any dance experience. You don't even need to have a background in fitness. Um, if you have the right instructor and the right teacher to guide you and teach you um, and starting in more of an, a beginning level is definitely the way to go, um, but anyone and everyone can take bar and it's low impact and it's just great for flexibility and mobility. And especially as we age, it's something that I personally feel you can do for the rest of your life. So it could be definitely a little bit scary for a beginner. Um, I think there's just this feeling that you do have to have some sort of ballet background, but it's absolutely not true. And there's so many different methods and styles of bar that there is literally something for everyone. So what is your style of bar? My style of bar is a ballet based technique bar. So I mix uh, ballet inspired movements with classic bar and I fuse them together with Pilates and yoga to create a really, I feel well balanced program. So it's total body training. It has um, little aspects of cardio kind of throughout the class. And we do focus a lot on, like I said, posture, body control, core work, mind-body connection, and I just packaged it all up with a, a nice little ballet spin, I guess. Great. Uh, so the next question for about the beginners and uh, the people that come uh, comes uh, first time to your class, uh, how do they uh, prepare for the first class? Uh, do they need anything specific, what to wear, um, what to do before to be prepared for the class? Absolutely. That's a great question. I definitely try to connect when I know somebody is coming to my class for the first time. I always try to send them a very detailed email to let them know that um, to wear something they don't, you know, I always wear my dance clothing because that's what I feel most comfortable in, but it's literally whatever you feel the best in. So, you know, something that might be a little bit more form fitting because it is you know, important to be able to see how they're holding their body and see their form. But, you know, if you want to come in a pair of sweatpants and tennis shoes, that is totally fine with me. Um, I think having an open mind and knowing that there is a little bit of a learning curve. And so things might not always make sense immediately and just being patient with that process. And then I always like to meet with newer clients about 10 minutes, if not 15 minutes before class. And then that way I can give them a rundown of what they're going to expect from class. Um, offer them, you know, some modifications of things that I know might be coming in class, show them the equipment that they need, help them set their space up. Um, and then I always like to introduce my clients to somebody they might be standing next to or um, because in bar, you're standing across a bar. So you usually have someone in front of you, someone behind you. So I try to pair them with someone who's talkative so that they can speak to them and somebody who might know a lot more uh, about the program so they can kind of watch and follow them. So I definitely have a process with it and I find that it does help my newer clients feel uh, welcomed and uh, that the program is attainable to them, so. Uh, and what about the shoes? That's uh, really yeah. interesting to me. And what, what do you do? Do you stay with shoes, take, out, take off? Do you need some specific shoes that you have to buy before? Excellent question. So for most bar programs, including my bar program, um, you can literally just wear yoga socks if you'd like. You can go barefoot. Um, there's a lot of companies who make um, yoga style socks um, with like, they look like ballet type of shoes, but really and truly barefoot is fine. Or like I said, just open toed yoga socks if you feel good. You definitely need a mat um, for class. Um, and then a lot of times for my particular program, I'll have my clients 
work with the floor only. So you don't want anything that is too sticky on your feet. You wanna feel the floor and be able to use your feet um, to create those nice lines. I personally like to wear my ballet shoes when I teach just because I'm most comfortable in that. But there are a lot of clients of mine that have ankle issues, they have foot issues, and they prefer to wear their tennis shoes. So it's really and truly up to you. The standard is usually like a yoga sock, um, but you know, it varies. It just depends on where you're at and what feels most natural to you. Yes, I'm uh, with tennis shoes. So let's see how it goes with tennis shoes. Yeah. Yes. I think it'll be just fine. <laughs> Great. And uh, tell me then uh, how people that want to train with you can find you, if they can also train online, um, and if the class also differs online. Yes. So up until just recently, I was offering my online program through a specific company. Now, they have recently just shut down their platform. So I'm currently building a brand new website and I'll be offering um, Zoom style classes a couple times a week. I'm going to transfer all of my uh, video library onto my website and then I'll just have like a monthly subscription. So I will definitely make sure to send you that information if you want to link it in the comments. But yeah, it was very unexpected. So I had been doing um, my classes through this company for about a year and, um, you know, with the pandemic and everything, it just kind of didn't work out. So, you know, plan B, um, starting a website and then I'll be doing that. And then for my local clients, I do a lot of private and semi-private training through my home studio that I just built. Yeah. So back here, oh, beautiful. here. Yeah. Yay, congratulations. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so definitely online is, is really where my passion I would say is right now. So I'm looking forward to just continuing to build that and, um, move along with that process as 2022 progresses so so good luck with that and thank i will you. link oh, everything YouTube. YouTube yes YouTube, you YouTube. <laughs> we will link the YouTube yes. <laughs> you can you can train with Jenny too watch some lifestyle yes. videos great channel yes, yes. Uh, good so let's get into the class let's get into the class so I'm going to go through about three different very classic style bar moves and then we will add a little spin with some ballet work and your shoes are fine um the only thing i'm going to suggest is to maybe find a stable surface a wall um some some place in your space that you can maybe place your hand to for a little bit of support i have a chair Here. is it okay chair is absolutely perfect yeah okay okay so the very first thing we're going to do is i'm going to have you grab i see you have some weights back there do you have a two pound weight uh, two pounds, is this uh, around one kilo maybe? Yes. Like small yes. one, the smallest small. one. Mm -hmm. I have, I have. have. One of your smallest weights, and then you're going to turn your chair to face forward. Okay, so we're kind of mirroring each other here. So I have my left hand to the bar, and so you have your, yeah, so switch it over to your left hand here. Now, what I really want to kind of get you in the mindset here is we don't want to be too close to what we're using our support system right we want to be enough space distance away where we can slightly place our hand there and we have a nice almost person distance from the bar so you don't want to be too far in or too far out I'm grabbing the weight. yes have your weight in your hand okay so now what i want you to do is i want you to take a look down at your feet okay you have your feet in a nice alignment here and I want you to peel and curl up your front toes and open up to a V shape, okay? Do you feel that kind of squeezing connection up those inner thighs there? Yes. And I want to pull, yes, pull those knees up nice and tight. You're gonna slightly tilt under with that bottom, not squeezing the glutes, but just a slight tilt, and you're gonna make sure that you are engaging through the obliques and through the core muscles. Hand is lightly placed because in bar, we don't want to use this as a kickstand to pull or move, just a very light support because we're relying on our core. Now what I want you to do is to rise up to those toes. You're going to come fully onto the ball of the feet. Yes, and you're in tennis shoes. Looks like it's a good position. Now you're going to step in with the left and connect the heels together. Like they're kissing each other. Yeah. Okay. So now the arm is going to come out to the side and we are going to elevate her down into this position here. Okay, good. So now we're creating this diamond shape position with our thighs here and our legs, our inner thighs. We're squeezing and we're holding. Okay, arm is up, palm is out. You're gonna start to drop and lift. 
So we're isolating and squeezing in these isometric movements here, very small and controlled. So we're gonna go down and up an inch. Down and up. Good, now we're gonna to start to add in a little movement with the arms. So now we're gonna pull in and press tight, all the way tight with those legs. Good, so down and squeeze tight. Good, tight. So arm back out to the side. Okay, so now I want you, so do you kind of get the rhythm of what we're going for with the, it's called a plie, demi plie. And then we tighten the legs, holding the shape of the feet. So we're gonna try eight of these, okay? We're gonna start in five, six, seven, eight, take eight, and tight, seven, and reach. Now you wanna keep your heels together. Six, and press, good. Five, and reach. So reach long, four, and squeeze, slightly tilting under, three, good two, and press. We're gonna take one more here, one, and hold. Now I want you to shoot that arm up above the head, nice and rounded position, pulling down from the shoulders, long neck, and you're gonna drop down about four inches, right there. Now you're gonna take tiny micro pulses, tiny pulse. Good, light touch on that bar, pulse, and pulse. We're going to take 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Are you feeling a little burn there? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Four. Yes. Actually, it's Two. really difficult. Two. Now I want you to hold here. Okay. Keep that hand there. Draw the arm forward. Right at your chest, rounded. Now, you're going to squeeze your left glute and your right. So you're going to come in and squeeze. And right and squeeze. Whoa. And squeeze, yeah? And right and squeeze. I take my legs. Woo. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Six. Switch. Five. Four. Three. Two. Are you feeling it still? One. Okay, now find your center. Lift up tall. Arm above the head. See if you can take the other arm off to balance. Good, draw those shoulders down. Four, three, two, and one. Come off those toes, pedal out the feet. Yeah, shake it off. I'm gonna teach you another move. Now, did you feel your quads burning? Yes, very. Or else did you feel it? Did you uh, feel I here working? Here uh, also a bit and a bit glutes uh, also. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, so now we're gonna do another very classic move and we're gonna add some arm work in. Okay, so we're gonna go back okay. to our bar side. So I want you to, so we took a first position. So in classical ballet, this is our first position. We're gonna step it out to a second position, okay? So we wanna be, for bar purposes, wider than our shoulders, okay? We wanna have our toes pointing out, but not over rotating from our hips. Perfect position. Same thing, core is engaged, chest is lifted, bottom is slightly tilted under, and the obliques are squeezing down the body. Left hand is slightly forward, right arm is going to be this side, okay? Now we wanna lift our elbow, round the arm, draw the shoulders down, and pull the arm slightly in. Let me take a look. Good, pull that arm just slightly forward. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, almost like a squat, but this is called a demi-plie, okay? So instead of pressing our bottom back, we wanna think of stretching our body up as we bend. So we go in and open, good. We lift tall as we bend, and then we release as we open. Now we wanna be careful not to bend and round. We wanna stay lifted through the body, okay? So we're gonna take eight of these. Eight and lift. Good, and each time try to gain some depth and press, beautiful. Arm comes center line and releases. Four more, four, 
and stretch. And three. Good. And stretch two more. And then we're going to add some progression. And last one, holding here. Now we're going to take that arm back above the head, shoulders down. We're going to drop down about four inches. Okay, I want you to hold this position for me. You're going to start to take some isometric pulses, very small pulses. Good. Now we want to get those legs, inner thighs, quads, glutes, everything working, hamstrings. Good. Eight, seven. Are you feeling it? Yes. Good. Five, four, three, two. Now on one, I want you to stay here. Draw the arm forward, just like we did in our first position. Okay, we're gonna pop the toes. Pop the toes. Press the heels. Okay, pop the toes. Press the heels. We're gonna take eight. Here we go. Eight. And press. How are we doing? Cool. Seven. <laughs> And I can feel the burn. Arm here if you need to. Six and down. Good. Five. Heels press. You can do it. Four and squeeze down. Three. Good. Two more to go. I want you to feel that good burn. Two oh, yes. and one. Now hold here. Pop those toes. Okay. You're gonna lift up. Yes. Balance, arms come off if you can. Right here. You can even hold your weight like this. Four, three, two, and one. Good, come down off those toes. Oh, great. Kind of love those feet. Yeah. So, those were some basic, great moves that you can do for your lower body. Very, very simple, but effective. So I'm gonna show you a fun little, uh, oblique workout that we do in bar. Okay. And then if anything else you want to see, we can definitely do that. Just giving you some things that I like to throw into my classes almost daily. So we're going to, let's switch sides. Switch the sides? Because we don't want to overwork our left side. <laughs> okay. The, the so legs are are amazing. Very basic. And you're going to catch on like this to this one. So we have our feet in this parallel position. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Curl the toes, fan the feet to first. Now this is just a V-shaped pizza slice, large pizza slice, if you will, okay? We're gonna take our left leg and draw it out to the side. We're gonna bend our right knee. Good, we're making sure that everything is stable, holding the core, bottom is under, and we're really lengthening through that toe. Okay, now the left arm is gonna go to the side. Uh-huh through the fingertips, down the shoulders, and the right arm is placed just like it was on the other side. We're gonna reach over our bar, and we're gonna crunch into the knee. Yes, let's try it again. So we reach long and stretch, and hold and crunch. Good, now we're gonna take it eight times. We go eight, and crunch, seven, and reach. Good. Nice and controlled as you crunch those obliques in. Reach and lift. How are we doing? Good. Right. And crunch, nice and controlled. Three, and stretch. Two more, and then we're gonna add progression. Ooh, okay, so this one reaches. Now I want you to hold here. Now you're gonna dip over the left side of the body and crunch. Crunch, crunch, good. Eight, seven, six, it's tough, right? Yes. Four, three, two, and a one. Good. Pedal out those feet, shake it out however you need to. Now, that's just a very simple, basic start to an oblique workout, but there's so many layers that go into bar. You might do, let's say the last exercise, 16 repetitions, high repetition. And then you might turn to the bar and do some lower abdominal crunching. So bar is very high repetition. Yes. You wanna maximize mm -hmm, the time you're at the bar and you wanna tax the muscles with light weight and high repetition. 
Now I understand why you say about the posture also, that you uh, get better posture. You do. You're very aware of that as you're doing bar. And the more training you get, the more, like I said, it transfers into just the way you walk and carry yourself in everyday life. So it's a good way to lengthen the spine, um, just gain flexibility, mobility, all types of benefits. So Amazing. And I could feel my arm, although it's just uh, two pounds, one kilo. So yeah. my arm was burning too, just, just by holding. So yeah, as dancers, um, you know, ballerinas, you know, we don't use weights, but we hold these positions mm -hmm. with our arms that just naturally our body weight, you know, shapes that position. So can you get stronger with bar? That's the last question. Absolutely. You get stronger with bar. I, like I said, I find it to be just an amazing mix of Pilates yoga, classic ballet and bar training that just mix together in the perfect recipe to gain strength and, and even endurance, because it's when you find yourself in that position where your legs are shaking, it's that mind body connection and endurance that gets you through it. So yeah, so it's a really good thing you can do for the forever. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can do bar. Thank you so much, Jenny. Uh, oh, I so definitely will try your class when you have the website. I will book one class with you because I really, I'm really curious how it is after one hour, how yes. you sweat and uh, how you feel after one hour. Then yeah. uh, definitely. I would love to have you. would love to have you. And you definitely brought up a good point because you do get a sweat. It doesn't seem like it, but you are, you do get pretty sweaty after a bar class. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jenny. That was Thank great you talking so to you. Thank you. Okay. What a great class of Jenny. If you would like to train with her and start your bar journey, check out the links in the description below. Jenny gives not only in person, but also online classes. And don't forget to check out her YouTube channel where you can find more bar and lifestyle inspiration. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.